Hey Melda 242 family, welcome back. So today I will be preparing Bahamian Pineapple Tart. If you want to see how this is prepared, continue watching. Let's go, let's get this tart started. Okay, I will be starting with the filling. For the filling, I'm going to be using Caragol unsalted butter. I'd be using about a tablespoon of that, a half a cup of white sugar, and one tin of Dole Quash Pineapple. Now I will let them, I will allow them to mix together in a small pot, sugar, the butter, and the pineapple in a small pot. Just allow them to mix on medium heat. So I'm just gonna stir it through until the butter melts and the sugar dissolves. After which, I will be adding one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, let that drip from the side. That's vanilla flavoring. And a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Not too much because you know that's overpowering. And I'm gonna stir that together. I'm gonna allow it to cook and the water's gonna dissolve. So it's gonna get a, it's gonna give you a thick consistency. Now here we're gonna we're looking at the ingredients for the crust. Robinet flour, I'm gonna be using two and a half cups of that. The white sugar, one tablespoon, cup and a half of bowls of milk right out of the refrigerator, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, need two tablespoons of I can't believe it's not butter. I need one tablespoon of vanilla flavoring and two tablespoons of baking powder. Okay, I'm going to mix all of the ingredients there with the exception of the milk. I'm just going to combine these together with a fork until the butter forms little balls in the flour. Now the butter wouldn't melt in this because it's cold. Then I'll take the milk, pour it in the center of the flour and the other mixtures. Use the fork and just try to work it through. Now if you feel it get it's too stiff, you just add some more milk. You don't put, use the entire milk that I told you to use all at once. So you're just going to use it in portions. Mix it through. You would know when it's when it is time to knead because it's going to be a little problem to get it um, to work it with the fork. So here I am scraping it off off of the um, fork, and I'm using my hand to bring it all together, bringing it home. I am bringing that bad boy home. Work it, work it. I am working it together with my hands. This is homemade crust. What's the board here? All right, so I am bringing it together. Look at the texture. Nice and pliable. Work it, girl. So I am working it together with my hand. Okay. About three minutes or so. You'll know when it's time to roll it out. Giving my filling a quick check. It's coming together. Good job. It is coming together. Okay. I just put some flour on the counter. And I'm going to roll this bad boy out. Using my um, rolling pin. I just put a little bit of the butter. Caragol unsalted butter in the pan that I'm going to be using. To bake this in. A with a piece of paper towel, I'm just going to smear the butter. Okay. Make sure to get the sides. The butter is still cold. Just keep rubbing it until it stays in the pan. All right. Work it. Now I'm sectioning the, the dough in two halves. One for the top crust and one for the bottom crust. So I'm going to be making the, forming the bottom crust first. With my rolling pin, just smashing it down, leveling, leveling it off. All right, let it go. Whoop. Back and forth, back and forth. If you feel your pin is getting too, 
the dough is sticking to the pin all you have to do is just add a bit of flour onto the rolling pin all right put some of that strand on that pin just let it roll I am flattening it out as even as possible now with this I don't have to put any flour in the pan because flour is already on the dough so after doing this I will just spread it out in the pan and then add the topping but before I do that I'm gonna have to make sure it's level in the pan so I'm adding it to the pan right now it's not too thick and it's not too thin okay good now I'm using my fingers and I'm pressing the edges to make a rim okay just like so press 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 all right making sure there's no holes at the bottom because the the filling will seep out and you don't want that to the bottom of the tart using my knuckles as well fingers are just working it work it girl all right there you go now you see all of the most of the liquid has dissolved out of the pineapple so it's getting there now I'm going to turn the stove off and just let it finish cool down here I am just mixing up in it so that it can cool some okay my tart is ready the sorry the bottom crust is ready okay that's homemade crust the stove is off it's not it's no longer cooking it's now thick now I still have to let this cool because if I put this hot filling onto the dough it's going to begin to cook and I don't want I want it to cook in the oven everything together so I'm just trying to let some of the hot air out of it all right so all I'm just trying to do is work it together other times I would just make this ahead of time so that I could cool so that it can cool but right now I'm pressed for time and I'm just working it out like this just getting some of the heat out like this so you can make this ahead of time so you don't have to go through this okay I got I have it cooled down a bit it's not completely cold but it's workable but you're gonna still see some smoke coming from it I'm gonna be using the back of the spoon to just spread it over the, the crust okay the back of the spoon and I'm spreading it over the crust just like so okay good job perfect all right that's it now just as I did with the bottom crust I'm gonna be doing it to the top crust rolling it I'm um, rolling it out and flattening it out with my hand and and the rolling pin and I'm gonna place it at, on the top of the tart okay at the top trying to fit it in okay and I'm gonna stretch it to the other side so that's why it can't be too thin because you're gonna have to be doing some stretching and pulling so you're gonna need enough dough for that okay now I'm gonna do my best to pinch press the bottom crust to the top crust and that's gonna be done to the side of the sides of the pan just like so smash smash now this is so that this is so the filling wouldn't seep out from the sides it would stay in I'm sealing it then sealing the tart okay right 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 sealing it together good job nothing wouldn't escape there straight around okay I'm gonna take the top of the fork the back of the fork 
and just press it down so it can have a nice appearance in the pan everything's going to be down okay just like so oh yeah that's it it looks edible now finally i'm going to use a pair of scissors and put an x it says x marks the spot so i'm putting an x and that's gonna be the spot where the excess heat is going to be able to come out while cooking so i don't have to, i wouldn't have to worry about anything trying to seep out forcing its way out through the sides and then i'm going to put it in the oven to in a my preheated oven at 325 degrees until it's brown or for about 20 minutes covered after it's finished after the 20 minutes or so i'm gonna cover it with a cloth and then it's gonna have a flaky appearance just like so and then you can cut after 10 minutes there you have it bahamian pineapple tart try some for yourself